everybody. Today we will crochet the moonflower vest. This vest top can be made in sizes XS to 3XL. This cardigan vest has a V neck. It is open at the front and we can add ties with tassels if we want. The written pattern has been linked in the description box below along with the timestamps so you can skip ahead to whatever part you want. This crochet vest has a pretty lacy pattern that works up fast. This is a step-by-step -step beginner friendly tutorial. Hello and welcome to Let's All Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new, please consider subscribing for similar crochet tutorials. To crochet this cardigan, this is the yarn that I am using. We don't need to use exactly the same yarn. We can use any medium weight or weight 4 yarn. So I am using Signet Aran. Each skein has 100 grams and 210 meters and it is 100% acrylic yarn. And the shade of this yarn is cream. Other material we will need is a 5 mm or an 8 size crochet hook, scissors, measuring tape, a tapestry needle and some stitch markers. Now let's begin. So we are going to make the two front panels first for the sweater. Then we will make the back panel. I am leaving some general sizes for the width of the front panel on the screen. You can always decide however broad you want it to be. To make this cardigan our size, we are going to measure around the bust first and we are going to note it down. Now we are going to make sure this is a multiple of 4. So you can size up or size down whatever you want. Suppose you have 34 inches. If you want, you can make this 32 or you can make this 36 inches depending on whether you want it to be tighter or looser. But make sure you have a multiple of 4. Now next we are going to divide this by 4. So divide whatever number you have by 4. And this is going to be the size of our front panel or the width of our front panel. We are going to begin with the right front panel. Make a slip knot. We can make this however we want. Now we are going to chain. We are going to chain the width that we just calculated and we are going to chain a multiple of 4 plus 5. I will teach you exactly how. We are going to begin chaining, yarn over and then pull through. This is our first chain. Yarn over and then pull through. This is our second chain. 3 and 4. Now we are going to chain 4 again. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Chain 4 again. 1, 2, 3 and 4. We are going to continue doing this till we reach the width that we need for our cardigan. I have finished chaining and I am a little short of 9 inches but I am going to stop here and now to the end of this chain we are going to add 5 chains. So we will have a multiple of 4 plus 5. So to the end add 5 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 1. We are going to double crochet in the 6th chain from the hook. The loop on the hook does not count as a chain. Skip the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th chain. This is our 6th chain and in the top loop we are going to make a double crochet. So in the 6th chain from the hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the top loop, yarn over and then pull through. We have 3 loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through 2 loops first. We have 2 loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through the last 2. Now we are going to make another double crochet in the same chain. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain yarn over and then pull through. We have 3 loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through 2. We have 2 loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through the last 2. Now we are going to chain 1, yarn over and then pull through. Now we are going to go back to the same chain and make one more double crochet. Yarn over, go back to the same chain, make your double crochet. We are going to go back to the same chain and make one more double crochet. We have made a shell in this chain, 2 double crochet, chain 1 and 2 double crochet. Now we are going to skip 3 chains and then in the next chain make a shell again. So this is our next chain, skip it, skip it, skip it. 
and in this chain we are going to make a shell again. Yarn over, insert your hook into this next chain, make one double crochet, go back to the same chain 2, chain 1, go back to the same chain and one more double crochet. So we have made two double crochet chain one and two double crochet in the same chain. So we are just going to continue this pattern of skipping three chains and then making a shell in the next chain till the end of this row or till the last two chains. So first we are going to skip this first chain, second chain and third chain. In the next chain we will make a shell. So we are going to make double crochet, make one more double crochet. Now we are going to chain 1 and make 2 double crochet in the same chain. So continue this pattern till the end of the row and I will meet you once you finish. So I have reached the end of the row. After the last shell I have 3 chains left. So I am going to skip the next 2 chains and in this very last chain I am going to make a double crochet to end this row. So yarn over, insert your hook into the last chain, yarn over and then pull through, we have 3 loops, yarn over and pull through 2, we have 2, yarn over and pull through the last 2 and this is the end of this row. Let's go to row 2, chain 3, yarn over and pull through 1, 2, 3, this chain 3 is going to count as our first double crochet, let's turn our work. So now we are going to work in this direction. So this chain 3 is counting as our first double crochet so we won't work into this very first double crochet and we're just going to skip over these first two double crochets of the shell. We're going to jump to this chain 1 or the center of the shell here and we will make another shell in this chain 1 space. Yarn over, insert your hook right into this chain 1 space like this. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through, complete your double crochet. So we have made one double crochet, yarn over, go back to the same space, make two. Now we are going to chain one, go back to the same space, make one more double crochet, go back to the same space and one more. So we have made a shell in this chain one space of the previous shell. So now our pattern is very easy, we are just going to jump to this next chain 1 space. So skip all these double crochet that you see in the middle and jump to this chain 1 space and make a shell again. So yarn over, insert your hook into the space, make a first double crochet, one more double crochet, chain 1, go back to the same space, one more double crochet, and one more double crochet. So our shell is two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Now we are going to jump over all these double crochet and jump to the chain one space in this next shell and we are going to make a shell in this space. So in the same way we are going to continue till we reach the very last shell and I will meet you there. Remember work only in the chain one spaces or in the center of the shell. So now I have reached the end of row two. You can see I have made a shell in my last chain 1 space of this last shell of the previous row. For a shell I have made 2 double crochet chain 1 and 2 double crochet. So these 2 double crochet are of this shell and this is the chain that we had skipped in the beginning of row 1. So we are just going to go to this first chain that we see here and make a double crochet in it. Right after these 2 double crochet go to the first chain that you see, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain and make a double crochet. This is the end of row 2. Let's go to row 3. Chain 3 and then turn the work. Yarn over and pull through 1, 2, 3 and then turn the work. So once again, we are just going to jump to this chain 1 space just like the previous row and in this chain 1 space we will make a shell again. So in the center of the shell we are going to make a shell. Make 1 double crochet, make 1 more double crochet. We are going to chain 1, 
and make one more double crochet and then one more double crochet all in the same chain one space of the previous shell. Now we're just going to jump over all these double crochets that we see. Find the shell and in the center of the shell we're going to make a shell again. So double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet and double crochet. Continue making shells in all the chain one spaces of the shells of the previous row till you reach the end of the row and I will meet you there. To reach the end of row 3, we have made a shell in the very last chain 1 space of the shell of the previous row. We are going to skip these two double crochet of the shell and jump to the next chain. So this next chain is also the third chain of the first chain 3 that we made. This is our first chain at the bottom, this is the second chain and this is our third chain. So in this third chain, we are going to make a double crochet and end this row. In this chain, Insert your hook and make a double crochet. From now on, we are just going to continue repeating row 3 for pattern till we have the height of the cardigan we want just before we reach our neck. So, I am going to show you mine. I finished making my cardigan up to the neck or where we are going to begin our v-neck. We are going to end at an even number row. So, make sure the last row that you make is an even number. Now the easy way to remember the even row is this is where my slip knot is at the bottom left and we must end at the opposite side of the slip knot. So I have made my last double crochet of the last row here and this is an even row. I am going to measure and show you the height. Mine is a little less than 9 inches or almost 9 inches. Remember you can make this however long or short you want. So we have made this part of the front panel. And we are going to make this V part or the neck part of the front panel now. And we want to make sure all the decreases lie on one side. So that we make this V on one side while the other side is straight. Making the neck of the right front panel now. And we are going to begin with a chain 3. 1, 2, 3 and turn the work. So this is our very first decrease row. We are not going to work into this same double crochet that we see here and we are going to skip the first two double crochet of the shell and jump to the chain 1 space. We will make a decrease here. So we are going to make a double crochet first in this chain 1 space. Then we are going to chain 1 and make a double crochet again in the chain 1 space. And we are going to make one more double crochet in the chain 1 space. So we have made a double crochet chain 1 and 2 double crochet in the chain 1 space. Now we are going to jump to the next chain 1 space and here we are going to make a shell as normal. So we are going to make 2 double crochet In the next space also we will make a shell, 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet and we are going to continue till the end of the row in the same way. So just the first shell is different, the rest of the shells are the same. I will meet you at the end of this row. We will end this row exactly like the other rows. We have made a shell in this chain 1 space of the shell of the previous row and we are going to make a double crochet in the third chain of the chain 3. Don't make a double crochet in these two double crochet, jump to the third chain. And we are going to make a double crochet in it to end this row. Row 2 of the decrease. So remember this side we are not making any decrease. We are going to chain 3. Turn our work. We are going to jump to the chain 1 space of this first shell. And begin making a shell. We are going to make 2 double crochet. 1, 2. Then chain 1 and 2 double crochet. So no decrease. In the next chain 1 space of the next shell, make your 2 double crochet, chain 1 and 2 double crochet. We are going to continue in the same way till the very last shell and I will meet you at the last shell. To reach the very last shell and remember we had made a decrease in the previous row. So we have 2 double crochet, chain 1 and only 1 double crochet and then we have our chain 3. So we are going to make 2 double crochets in this chain 1 space. 
yarn over insert your hook in the chain one space make one and two and we're not going to make any more stitches in this chain one space we're going to jump to the third chain of the chain three so this is our first chain this is our second chain and on top here we have our third chain make a double crochet in it this is the end of row two of decrease row three of decrease chain three one two three now remember this is our decrease side so we're going to work a decrease on this side this is what is left of our shell, these two double crochets. So we're going to yarn over and just insert our hook between these two double crochets. So there's no chain one space or no space, but we're just going to go between the two double crochets. Just insert your hook like this and make a double crochet. So you will see you have made a double crochet between the two double crochets. Now from the next shell, we will work the shell as normal. We're going to make two double crochet chain 1 and 2 double crochet in the chain 1 space of the previous shell. Go to the next shell, make your shell and continue till the very last shell. I will meet you there. So I have reached the end of the row and we are going to make a double crochet in the third chain of the chain 3. So there is no decrease on this side. Just go to the third chain and end the row normally. Chain 3. Turn the work. Now we know that there are no decreases on this side, so we will make a complete shell, 2 double crochet, chain 1 and 2 double crochet. Continue making a shell in all the shells till the very last shell and I will meet you there. Reach the end of row 4, so I have made a complete shell in the last complete shell and this is our decrease shell. We have only one double crochet left now. We are just going to skip over this double crochet and jump to the third chain of the chain 3 and make a double crochet in it. So we can count our chains 1, 2, 3 or the chain right after this double crochet, insert your hook and make a double crochet in it. Now for all the sizes, we are going to make these decrease rows two more times. So that means we are going to start with row 1, then row 2, then row 3, then row 4, then go back to row 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we are going to make it 2 more times and I will meet you once we finish. I have finished making all the decrease rows. We have 12 decrease rows in all. The 4 we made first and then we repeated the 4 2 more times. So we have 12 in all. So any size up to size large, we are going to make 12 decrease rows. We finished making this bottom portion of the front panel first. Then we made this part with the decreases with the V of the neck and now we are going to make this portion on top. So this has no decreases. Once we finish our last decrease row, we are going to make 2 to 4 more rows without any decreases. So we are going to decide how deep we want our V to be and depending on that we can add 2 more rows or 4 more rows. So we are just going to make it as normal just like we have made the bottom of the front panel. We are going to chain 3 turn our work. Remember there are no decreases. So starting from this chain 1 space make 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet and continue till the last shell. So I will meet you once we finish this row. After I have finished my last shell, 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet in the chain 1 space of the previous shell, I have made my last double crochet in the third chain. Let's go to the next row, chain 3. Turn your work, make a shell in this first chain 1 space and continue till the end of the row. So we already know how to make these rows. I will meet you once we finish. So I have finished row 2 with a double crochet in the third chain of the chain 3. All the shells are complete. Let's go to row 3, chain 3 and turn your work. So this is my last row. You can decide how many rows you want depending on the V of your neck. So we are going to make a shell in the chain 1 space of all the shells and I will meet you at the end of this row. There are no decreases. We have finished the front panel of sizes up to large. Now we are going to continue with sizes XL and up. So 
for sizes extra large and over extra large, we are going to add two more decrease rows. So only for sizes XL and up, we are going to chain three, turn our work. Now this is row one of the decrease, so we are going to make a double crochet. I'm sorry, chain one and two double crochets in the very first chain one space of the shell. The rest of the shells are going to remain the same as the previous rows. I will meet you once we finish this row. So is the same as the first decrease row. We are going to end by a double crochet in the third chain. There is no decrease on this side. We are going to chain three. Now this is our second decrease row. So we are not going to make a decrease on this side. We are going to make a complete shell. Two double crochet. Chain one and two double crochet. Continue till the last shell. We will make a decrease there. Reach the end of the row and in the very last shell which is also the decrease shell we are only going to make two double crochet in this chain one space. So just like row two of the decrease. I'm sorry. Once you make two double crochet we are going to make a double crochet in the third chain of the chain three. So we have finished all our decrease rows and we are going to continue with three to four no decrease rows. So this is only for sizes XL and up. We are going to chain three, turn our work. Now we are going to go and make two double crochets between these two double crochets. So we already know we are just going to insert our hook between the two double crochets. There is no chain one space but just insert a hook like this between the two double crochets and make one double crochet and make one more because we are not making any decreases. Now jump to this chain one space of the next shell and we will make a shell. So, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. Continue making a shell in all the chain one spaces till the end of the row and I will meet you there. So, end the row with a double crochet in the third chain. Now, we are going to the next row, chain three and turn the work. So, in this chain one space, we will make a complete shell, two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Make a shell in all the shells and I will meet you at the end. So, I have reached the end of the row. This is where we have made our V or our two double crochets. In the same way as the previous row, yarn over, insert your hook between the two Vs and make two double crochets because we are not making any decreases. And we are going to end by a double crochet in the third chain. I would suggest adding one more row in the same way. You can adjust the depth of the neck by adding more rows. So this is the top of my front panel. Once we finish, we are going to leave a long piece of yarn. So make it at least two and a half times to three times the size of the top of this panel. And now we are going to cut it. Once we cut, we are going to pull out a loop. So just tuck on your hook and pull out a loop. We are finished making our right front panel. Now let's make our left front panel. So for the left front panel, this bottom portion will remain the same. Just this V will change. So this part is going to be different while this part is going to be same. So we are going to make this and then continue with the V neck. So for the left panel, you will begin with the same amount of chains and repeat the rows for the same amount of time. Make sure you end at an even number row or the same number of row as the right front panel. I will meet you once you have this bottom piece. I finished making the left front panel, the bottom piece. It is exactly the same as the right. Now let's continue with the V neck. So we are going to make this part of the panel and all our decreases are going to be at the opposite side of the right front panel. Row 1 of the decrease, chain 3 and turn your work. So we are going to make a complete shell on this side and a decrease on the other side. In this chain 1 space, we are going to make 2 double crochet, chain 1 and then 2 double crochet. Go to the next shell in the chain 1 space, 2 double crochet chain 1 and 2 double crochet. So we are going to continue doing this till the very last shell. 
I will meet you at the last shell. So I've reached the last shell and in this shell we will make a decrease. So we're going to make one double crochet in the chain one space, make one more in the chain one space, then we're going to chain one and make one more double crochet. We're going to stop our shell now. We're going to jump to the third chain of the chain three. So this is our third chain and make a double crochet in it. Now we're going to row two of the decrease chain three and then turn your work. In row two, we're going to begin with the decrease first in this first shell and then continue the rest of the shell as normal. So we're going to make two double crochet in the chain one space. Yarn over, insert your hook in the chain one space, make one double crochet. Yarn over, go to the chain one space, two. From the next shell, there are going to be no decreases. So we're going to make two double crochet. chain 1 and 2 double crochet. Continue making a shell in all the shells till the very last shell. In my last shell, I have made 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet and we are going to end by a double crochet in the third chain. Row 3, chain 3 and turn the work. So this is our not decrease side or no decrease side. We are going to make 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet in this first chain 1 space. A complete shell. Continue till the very last shell. In the last shell we are going to make a decrease. So I have reached the very last shell. This is a decrease shell. We can see we have only two double crochet left. We are going to make a double crochet between these two double crochet. So there is no chain one. Just insert your hook between the two double crochets and make a double crochet. After that we are going to double crochet in the third chain of the chain three. This is the end of the row. 4 of the decrease chain 3 and turn the work. Once we turn, so this is our very first double crochet in the double crochet and this is the decrease shell. We are not going to work into this double crochet, just skip it completely and jump to this chain 1 space. In this chain 1 space, we will make a shell as normal, 2 double crochets, 1, 2, chain 1 and 2 double crochets. Make a shell in all the shells till the very last shell. I will meet you once you finish. Reach the end of row 4. Made 2 double crochet chain 1, 2 double crochet in the very last chain 1 space of the last shell and now we are going to go to the third chain and make a double crochet. This is a side without a decrease. For all the sizes, we are now going to repeat these 4 decrease rows 2 more times. So we are going to make row 1 of decrease, row 2, then row 3 and then row 4. Then go back to row 1, then 2, then 3 and then 4. So I will meet you once we finish all our decreases. I have finished my 12 decrease rows. So just like the right front panel, for sizes up to large, we are going to stop at 12 decrease rows. And for sizes XL and over XL, we are going to add 2 more decrease rows. For sizes XL and up, we are going to add row 1 and row 2 of the decrease. So we are going to add 2 more decrease rows. Once we finish all our decrease rows, just like the right front panel, we are going to add 2 to 3 more rows and decide however deep we want our neck to be. So make the rows the same amount as the right front panel. I will meet you once we finish. Just like the first front panel, we are going to leave a long tail. And now we are going to cut the yarn and pull out a loop by tugging on our hook. We will use this tail to sew the shoulders. Now we are going to make the back panel. The chain is going to be different because the back panel is much more wider than the front panels. There is going to be no decreases because we are not going to shape for the neck in the back panel. Our chain for the back panel is going to depend on the front panel. So it is going to be our front panel into 2 times minus 5. Let me show you exactly how to calculate it. We are going to take our front panel first. So mine is 41 chains. Yours may be any multiple of 4 plus 5 how we have made the chain. So mine is 41 chains. And now we are going to multiply this by 2. 
Once we have this number, we are going to subtract 5 from it. And this is how many chains my back panel is going to be. So suppose you have started with 45 chains. You are just going to multiply it by 2. And you are going to subtract 5 from it. This is how many chains your back panel will be. So for the back panel, once you make the chain, row 1 is going to remain the same as the front panel, row 2 is the same as the front panel and row 3 is the same as the front panel. You will repeat row 3 for pattern till you have all the rows the same number as the front panel. So make these rows the same number as the front panel. I'm going to link row 1, 2 and 3 of the front panel in the timestamps below so you can just click and go to the rows and follow the rows so that you can make the back panel. The height of all three panels is going to remain the same because the number of rows in all three panels is the same. I have finished my back panel and I have the same number of rows as the front panel. Now we will leave a small tail about 4 to 5 inches and cut the yarn. Once we cut this yarn, we will pull out a loop by tugging on our hook. So we have finished making the front panels and the back panel and we are ready to join them together. We will join the front panel and the back panels together at the shoulders and at the sides but we will leave a gap for the armhole. So we are going to place the back panel with the right side facing up. The wrong side is facing below or the surface below. Now we are going to place both the front panels. So we are going to turn the front panel so that the wrong side faces up and place it like this. Place the second front panel like this. Make sure this V for the neck lies in the center. So now the wrong side of both the front panels face up. The right side is on the inside for the back panel, the front panel and the second front panel. So now that we have placed our panels, we are going to start by joining the shoulders first this side and on this side. So on the screen, I have left a picture of how I have placed my panels before joining them. So this is one shoulder, this is my front panel, this is my back panel and I'm going to take the tail end from the front panel and with the tapestry needle, I'm going to sew these two together. So we can sew however we want, what I'm going to do is go into the last double crochet on this side, on the first side and the last or the third chain on the next side. Tug on the needle. I'm going to go once more from this last double crochet into the third chain. Now I'm going to go into the second double crochet on this side and the second double crochet on this side as well. I'm going below both the loops of the V. Below this third double crochet on this side and the third double crochet on this side. So this is the chain 1 space. I am just going to go into one of the loops of the V on top. Same for the back. So in the same way, we are going to continue closing this side till we reach the end. I will meet you there. Finish closing this entire side and now we are just going to weave the tail end in on this side. With the tapestry needle, I am just going to go 3 to 4 times in the opposite direction but you want to make sure you do it neatly. Don't go to the front of the work. Once you are sure that the tail is firmly weaved in, you will just take a scissor and then cut this tail end. closing this first side and this is my second side. Now for the second side my tail end lies on this side. So what I'm going to do is count all my stitches and make sure you start closing from the right stitch. So your stitches should match exactly on both the front and the back panel. If you don't want to do this you can just cut off this yarn and take a new piece of yarn and start closing from this side till you reach this end. So now we have finished closing our shoulders. Now with the wrong side still facing up we are going to close the sides. But first we are going to leave a gap for the armhole. So right from the shoulders we are going to leave a small gap and add a stitch marker here. This is going to be our armhole and we are going to start closing from the bottom till we reach the stitch marker here. We are going to do the same for this other side. We will add a stitch marker here. 
this is the armhole we are going to leave it open and from the bottom we will begin closing till we reach the stitch marker I am leaving some gentle armhole sizes on the screen. You can adjust the size as you want. We are going to take a piece of yarn at least two and a half times the length of this. I just want to show you this is my cardigan placed sideways. Here we have the V of our neck. This is our shoulder and this is my armhole. I have placed the stitch marker here. So I am going to start closing from the bottom here till I reach the stitch marker here. I am going to take a piece of yarn sure you place these pieces exactly against one another and both the rows match on this side and on this side. I am going to start closing from the bottom, insert my needle into the last stitch on this side and into the last stitch on this side. Now you are going to tuck on the needle. If you want you can tie a small knot here and now we are going to continue sewing upwards. I'm going to take the needle, go into the first side and then into the second side. Tug on the needle. These loops are going to lie on top. So keep doing this. Keep going from the first side to the second side, from the first side to the second side till you reach the stitch marker here. I will meet you once you finish. Now finish closing both the sides till I have reached the stitch marker here. On top we are our armhole, so we are going to leave that open and we are just going to weave the tail end in here. Same way as the first side, we are going to close the second side as well. Turn your vest or cardigan inside out so that the right side faces up. We will attach the border on the right side. So I am going to attach the yarn at the bottom here. Go up this front panel, go across the neck then go across the back, come down the neck, come down the second front panel and then we will make a border for the bottom the back and then the front again and come back to where we have started. I am going to attach the yarn at the bottom here to begin with the border. Turn my vest sideways and I am attaching the yarn here. Attach the yarn, insert your hook into this last space that you see and we are going to catch the yarn in a loop form on our hook and pull it through. Once we do that we are going to chain one. Now we are going to make two single crochets in this first gap. So insert your hook yarn over and pull through. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both. Go back to the same gap, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both. In the same way, at the side of every row, in this gap, we will make two single crochets. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through both. Insert your hook, single crochet. Go to this next gap, two single crochet. Go to the next gap single crochet and we are going to continue in the same way till we reach the neck. So now I have reached the V of the neck. You can see that this is my very first decrease row because there is one double crochet chain one and two double crochet. While here there is a complete shell two double crochet chain one and two double crochet. So in this very first decrease row we are going to make three single crochet. In the rest of the rows we are going to make two single crochet but this very first decrease row at the side here we are going to make three single crochet 1, 2 and 3. Now from the next row we will continue with 2 single crochet. I am going to continue making 2 single crochet at the side of every row till we reach the back. So I have made 2 single crochet at the side of the last row and this is my back panel. So in the back panel we have double crochets and we are just going to work into all the double crochets and this chain 1 space. So this is the first double crochet. I am just going to insert my hook, make a single crochet. This is my second single crochet. Now we have our chain 1 space. I am going to make one single crochet in it. Single crochet in the next double crochet. Single crochet in the next double crochet. Single crochet in all the double crochets and one single crochet in all the chain 1 spaces. I will meet you once we finish the back. So I have finished making single crochet across the back and now I have reached the second front panel. So again at the side of every row we are going to make two single crochet. So these are all our decreases and we are going to continue making two single crochet at the side of all the rows till we reach the very last row. At the side of the last row we are going to make three single crochet. So that this will match the first front panel. 
here we can see we have our complete shell two double crochet chain one and two double crochet and this is a very last decrease row so here we are going to make three single crochet we've reached the bottom corner of the front panel and in this space we are going to make six to seven single crochet one two three four five I'm going to start at six single crochet and now we're going to continue across the bottom so I'm going to make one single crochet at the bottom of the shell here and three single crochet in the space between the shells one two three one single crochet at the bottom of the shell and three single crochets in the space between the shells continue across the front then the back and then the front again i will meet you at the end of this round i've reached the end of the round now and this is my first gap or this is where i made my first single crochet so in the space i'm going to make six single crochet in all i made two before while starting so i'm going to make four more one two three four so this gap matches the other side where I have made 6 single crochet. Now join by a slip stitch to this first single crochet. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook. Leave a small tail, cut the yarn and then weave this tail end in. So this is the right side of my vest and we are going to attach the chain and the tassels now. So I have already attached the chain and the tassel on one side and we will do the second side together. We are going to find the 3 single crochet we made. In the very first decrease row of the neck on this side and on the last decrease row of the neck on this side so we can see that this is the v of the neck so you're going to find three single crochets here and three single crochets here in the center single crochet here we will start making our chain and same in the center of the three single crochet here we will start making our chain so we can see that these are the three single crochet made at the side of the very first decrease row here i'm going to insert my hook into the center or the second single crochet once we insert our hook like this we're going to catch the yarn in a loop form on our hook and then pull it through and now we're going to begin our chain we're going to chain about 10 to 11 inches so yarn over and pull through one two three four continue till you have the length of the chain you want finished making my chain and it is about 11 inches to leave about 4 to 5 inches and then cut this yarn we're going to pull out a loop by tugging on our hook now we will attach the tassel here so now we are going to make the tassels i'm going to use the cover of red heart super saver yarn to make them we're going to take our yarn and just wrap it around this cover about 14 to 15 times so i'm going to take it and wrap it like this keep going in rounds till you have 14 or 15 rounds i will meet you once you finish so once you finish, you're going to cut the yarn and you're going to pull all these loops off this cover. So do it carefully. We are going to take another piece of yarn, about 10 to 12 inches, cut it and you're going to tie it around this. So I'm just going to go into the center here with this long piece of yarn and you're going to tie it at the top like this. I'm going to make one more knot so this is what we have now we're going to take one more piece of yarn about 10 to 12 inches again we're going to place it below the top like this so this should be about half inch or one centimeter and we're going to tie a knot again tie one more knot So this is the top of our tassel. Now with the scissor all we have to do is cut all these bottom loops open. We are going to take the two ends of the knot and push it into the center. Let me show you how. Take the first end with the tapestry needle. Just go into the center like this. Tug on the yarn and do the same for the second end. So this is my second end. I am just going to push it into the center again. Now 
Now we are going to take a scissor and trim this bottom off. Make it about two and a half to three inches long. I'm going to make it about two and a half inches. So just approximately, you can just take the scissor and trim the bottom off. This is a mini tassel. You can make one more like this. Take your tapestry needle and insert one end of the tassel in it. And now we are going to make sure that the right side of the chain faces up. So make sure that this V faces up. So this V of the chain must face up. We are going to take our needle and just insert it into this last chain. And we are going to tie a knot with the chain end and the tassel end. To take the second end from the tassel, do exactly the same thing, insert it into the very first chain and tie a knot between the chain end and the tassel. I'm going to take all these three loose ends and push it into the tassel. Take the first end and from the top just insert it. We want it to come out. Do the same for the other two. From the top, we will just insert it. Do the same for the last. We are going to see extra ends or longer ends here. We will just take our scissor and cut them off. In the same way as the first, attach the second tassel and the chain as well. And make sure you weave in the tail end at the back here. Your vest is now ready to wear. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and press on the like button to help me out. Here is a similar tutorial you may enjoy. See you next time.